helping too. Hey! hey guys, welcome to Things to Do at Home, and we're gonna make fried fish. So, uh, fried fish and chips. Never made it before, but I saw it on Instagram. Turner, where's the phone? I made a mistake. Spence said I need to tell you when I make mistakes because that's what the fans like. Oh, the beer. Huh. Right, okay. Okay, and keep mixing till it's liquidy. What is this? That's to put the fish into to so make it crispy. The issue is that I don't know what temperature the oil is supposed to be. So I don't have one of those strainer things, so I'm gonna use this. Ready? Okay. Put a few more in. Don't scream this time. I won't. I didn't scream. Good. Hot. Good. Mm -hmm. But ready, get ready to jump back. Drop. <laughs> Oi, the vault. We're good? Good. Was awesome. Yeah, okay. good. ready to make some onion rings. Oh, that's how you make the rings, see? Eh? No, but like into pieces. No, I don't mean to break them into pieces. Like, I want it like that. Oh. Okay, I think the onion rings are incredible. They actually taste very good. Amazing. Oh my God, I cannot believe how good this looks. All right, first piece coming out. It looks gorgeous. Okay. How is it? Onion rings? Probably the best onion rings I've ever had. Wow. It's probably, probably the worst things I've ever had. What? Or the worst fry I've ever had. I ever taught you how to use a knife and fork together? Yes, I don't want to be fancy. Oh wow, that's good. Good. And the great news for me is that I made such a mess, I'm gonna be able to just clean up all night and then by the time I'm done, I'll be ready for bed and another day of stay at home, done. The onion rings are my favorite part for sure.